come here. Dare you talk to my mother in that manner? Making her to shed tears. You and I know that I can never do or say anything that will make your mother cry. And you, 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 you know that. Liar! Look at you, liar! You, you don't know who's your, who your mother is. Tobechuku, this is even less. Compare what I suffer in her house whenever you're not around. Mama. Mama, you don't shut know up. Your huh? Mama, Bo, you don't know your mother. What? So you don't know your mother again, wicked woman. You don't know your mother. Mama, it's not fair, oh. fair Bo. It's only God that will judge your mother and I. It may not touch. You yes. want to judge me, <laughs> Jay? Are you still calling my mother a liar? Liar! 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 Anywhere to go. Because of because where are my young grandchildren? Edna, Edna, listen to me. Useless girl. Make sure you leave this house before I come back. Yes. Mama, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that now everything that belongs to her does not go back here again. She will not come inside here again. No more! I am standing here. Go! It's over. <laughs> hey. no. I'm sure Tobe's actions are not ordinary. His mother is the brain behind all this, judging from what has been happening in that house. Okay, to look at me. Out of my husband's house. <laughs> Just because his mother lied against me. And to me couldn't even consider our children. <laughs> is it not yet clear that your husband is not interested in this Hi. He's not. But why? Why now? Why? Edna, that is because he needs a male child from you and not female. Eh? Even at that, <laughs> even at that, is that why he should he should maltreat me along with his own children? Eh? Oh, ma. It's okay. Hey, man, listen, <laughs> listen. In this part of the country, a man is not fully respected as a man until he begats a male child from his wife. I'm sure all what Tobe and his mother have been doing were only a plot to frustrate you out of your matrimonial home. Enna, please, it's okay. Eh? If you continue like this, what, what would their children do? How would they feel? What I expect you to be thinking right now is a way out. Eh? Because I, I will not stand and watch you lose your matrimonial home. Eh, Edna? Where do I go? What did I do to deserve all this? Pull yourself together. Oh it's gosh. okay. Hey. Um, um, Edna, Edna, you people can stay with me tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. My husband have he has gone to the city to visit our son Nduka and he will be back in three days. Okay. Let's pack your things inside and think of the next line of action as in what to do. It's okay. Stop crying. Okay. Nothing has spoiled yet, okay? It's Thank okay. You so it's okay. Much. It's okay. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? You wanna take away my joy. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I know what to do. 
That means I'm the greatest liar in this whole wild world. Edna, you have to think fast. You can't continue to stay in my house with these kids. You know, my, my husband might not like it when he comes back. But don't you have any relatives you can at least talk to? Let someone intervene in this matter now. Yeah. You, you will not understand. You will not understand. <laughs> I don't have anybody apart from the Almighty God. No relatives. Nobody as it is now. You know my story as an orphan. You know. <laughs> what about your stepbrother, you? Gabriel, he's a very nice man, and he had on few occasions confronted to be your husband. You can talk to him. My dear, that was in the past. That man has tried for us, and I don't think he will still have the mind to help us. Edna, that's where you are wrong. Hmm? You don't have to conclude when you've not even made an attempt. Go to him and explain everything to him and let's see how things will turn out. Okay? Akiru. <laughs> I don't have anybody. You know he doesn't live here in the village. How do I go to him when I have nothing, even a dime? I don't have any. It's me. Should I fly? Inge Fefe? Head now. Head now. Tomorrow morning, get ready to go to the city and see Gabriel. Don't worry about the kids. I will take care of them. I will take them to school. I will give you money for the trip. Where are you going with these things? Where is Tobetu? What has that got to do with my question? I might have nothing to discuss with you. It's Tobetu that I need to talk to. Who are you? Eh? So Edna ran to your house in the city. Eh? So you deem it right to come into your family house to ask me questions? Mama, Who are you? Mama, let me tell you something. Eh? All this nonsense you people have been doing to this woman, I'm here to put an end to it. I, you don't even need to tell me. I am not surprised. There's something between both of you. Of course, there's something between both of you. If there's nothing between both of you, I don't see any reason why you run to the city to go and bring you for you to come and uh, uh, prognose in what does not come Yes, you are a shameless old woman. Am I older than you? Even while my mother was still alive, you're, you have always been a crazy one. A hey, crazy am, eh? am I getting older? You are a fool. You are a stupid you boy. Nonsense, woman. Come on. Look at this woman. Come on. Come on. This is a stupid woman. What are you talking about? You are a fool. Who put you down? Who did this to you? Gabriel, Gabriel, why did you do this to my mother? You're a stupid man by asking me that such a stupid question. Ask You're calling me a stupid man. Who do you think you are? You see it? He just asked me a question. I was to answer the question. He just slapped me, lata lata. And the uh, Edna uh, knocked me, knocked me, and kicked me down. Imagine, imagine. Look at even my leg. Mama. Gabriel, I'm asking you. What did you do to my mother? The question. And you? Did not I want you not to step back into this country? Yes, this is also my house. Today? You're very wrong. By the way. What is your business in my personal affairs? Oh. You want to know my business? All those maltreatment and torture. If you have been rendering to this woman, I'm here to put an end to it. It's a lie. Who are you? Gabriel, I will not have you talk back at me or my mother anymore. anymore. One more word from your mouth, you will not like what Yes. Because I don't fear you want this. I'm talking to you, you will not like what If you touch me again, you do, do what? You see this man? You see this old man? I will do it. Come again. What you I will give it to you. Come. Look at this man. Look, look at him. I want it. Leave him alone. Come. Look at him. Look at him. Who are you? I don't want to give it to you. What the fuck are you doing? You can't do nothing! How will you do? Come on! 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 Come on!
I'm Hey, you're welcome. Yes, ma. I thought you traveled. Yes, so I thank God. You're welcome. This when you came to my compound. Oh, all is, I hope all is well. <laughs> all is well, ma. Just that I just came back and I did not find my wife at home, so I decided to come and check if she's here. Eh, she's not. She can't be here. Because her friend Edna is no more living with us. What happened? My son, Edna. Edna is a bad influence. My son just noticed and sent her packing. Yes. Edwin uh Hebo. -uh. How how could she turn so bad so sudden? Oh. She always appeared to be very nice and quiet. Ah, pretender. A green snake under a green grass. Oh, you hope. The only thing is that it's better we noticed on time and pushed her away. For you and your family, it is good for everybody. Call the lady you're in trouble. All of that well, all I go in here. Yes, it's better she 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 leaves. And but what exactly did she do? Mm, what she did? <laughs> it might not want to come. No matter what, I have to protect her interest. Yes, no matter what. When my son comes back. Ask him that question. He will tell you everything in details. So what about the children? Children? Those ones that are even very, very sure that my son is not their father. Hey now. You want to go to the child? You want to go? So, I don't know. It is better she's no more living here. Why are let you know you're not in trouble? Because all of that we are in hug. You should we may go home and be happy that she's no more here. Uh -uh. Are you feeling bad about it? No. Uh -uh. You shouldn't feel bad about it. She's no more here. Okay, Mama. Her exit is very, very good for you and for me. So you can go. Go on now. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Ogula Diego. Nemulu Ogolo. Oshun jide ya jide ya jamu ozo. And so, the reason I've taken all the pains and time in the world to tell you all this is because I got personally interested in your family issues after listening to this woman's story. Looking at both of you, your respected appearances do not allow your continued detention here. Following my inquiries, I was given to understand that it was an issue of misunderstanding and negative influence. My children, this is my 35th year of service in the police force. And by this year, by the end of this year, I'll be attaining 62 years. And that makes me old enough to be your father. So, I think with both of you, to bring the hatchet. This woman here has a very good heart. She had been pleading with me not to allow you people to remain here. And against our rules of not allowing women to bear a defense. Well, I had to give in. Damning the consequences or the repercussions of my actions. So I plead with you brothers. To bury the hatchet. I want us to put everything we have done here today into work to ensure that peace reigns once again in your family. Well, I assure you, at my spare time, I will come to the house to talk to Mama in particular. 
have to talk to her in particular because she's invariably a factor in this uh, matter. I have a lot of things to do. I believe in you people. And once again, I have to thank you for taking pains to listen to me. Um, DPO. Yes, my son. Thank you very much for your fatherly advice. And I assure you, it will be put into good use. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Toby, while you are shaking me, I have to advise you to take your wife. Because this is a very good woman. No matter what the situation is, she is still one. Thank you. I will with known that one your God's negative influence on two people who won't be put into trouble. Imagine you will slept in police custody. Who cares? Who cares? I am only feeling for that poor woman. Hmm? The way Tube and his mother maltreats that poor woman and her children these days is my concern. Thank God for the likes of Gabriel. Hey! Open up with Gabriel. They don't want to want you to be able to get for me. The dog is right in saying that those who have good talks don't know how to sit properly. To be doesn't appreciate what he has until he loses it. I can't understand you. Why do you still accept this woman, Edna, into this house again? Why? Mama. I thought I have explained to you how the DPO. D DPO gonna. Who is DPO? It's the Oya police to tell you how to run your family. Hey, Mba, no, 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 no. You are a lion. Can't you behave like a lion for once? Eh? I've told you. Edna is incapable of giving us grandsons. I want to carry them. I'm not getting any younger. Since we've just pushed Edna out, let her go. It's better like that. I will buy an enemy. Mama. Mama. I thought we have been through this issue. I know that Edna is back into the house. But I want you to understand one thing. We are both at arm's length with each other. Arm's length? What? Hey, to be I can't believe you. Oh, you look no, no. Oh, shall you know? How can a man spit out something and still leak what he spat out? Is it possible? Can't you be strong for once? Eh? You walk with your stamp. Mm. Mama, Mama, I don't know how many times we will keep hampering on this um, matter. Eh? Edna's inability to give me a son. I have told you that I have plans. I have serious plans. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you have to act like a lion that you are. For once, be strong. Since we've pushed her out, let her go. You know what? Let her go. I'll be a much more than ping in ever. Two crayfish and the one I kept in my room. Mama, I used it to prepare food for my husband. What? You used what? So you're not stealing? I can't talk to you, Mama, I didn't steal it. Shut up! Shut up! Eh? I kept them for my own use. You went and took and, and took, took them. Are you stupid? You went and cooked your husband food. Go and eat those food that you you you, you, you cooked. With your, your stupid children. Make sure you, repl you replace it. That a uh, crayfish and novel. Stupid woman. You can't afford anything in the house. Good behavior is no way. Mama, why does grandma hate you this much? I don't like the way she treats you in this house, Mama. Don't worry. It is some of you that once you get married, your mother-in-law will die. Just like that. But it will not work for you people. 
useless fools. Don't talk again. Don't worry. Teach her good behaviors! You see this Edina, because of what happened the other time, he wasn't in talking time with me. So you mean Edna has not been speaking to you? For where? She doesn't greet me, she doesn't do anything. Yeah. She has no forgiving spirit. Edna, I am telling you. This man, your food is ready. My dear, what is it? What is your problem? But I just brought your food. You've not even said a word or even touched the food. Edna, eh, eh, listen to me. I am not in the mood for any explanation right now. I am not hungry. Please take away your food. Why? Why are you not hungry? Why? Why what? I just finished eating delicious food that my mother prepared for me. Yes. And I'm full. Tobe, why? Why are you and your mother meting out this punishment to me in this house? Eh? Remember, I'm your wife. And Mama, I am your daughter-in-law for crying out loud. Mama, I guess that, that you are his wife. Does it mean that my son will not eat food from my pot? Oh. I, I didn't say so. And what are you saying then? Eh? He said he's no more interested in your food and even you. But don't leave him Or by force. Leave him alone. What's your problem? I'm a, I'm a wife. I'm a, I'm a wife. Why should you ban? You mean that Edna has not been speaking to you? And you never told me. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to bug you. Tobe, the, where is your keke? The kids are ready to go to school. Are you blind? Did you see anything like keke in, in, in this compound? Eh? They are fixing my keke out here on the street. Ah. Oh, them, uh, you can as well take them to school. Ah. You must be deaf and dumb. Eh? Can't you take them to school yourself? Must I be the one? <laughs> Tobe, you could do more. Even to your own kids. Oh, Obaraka. Stop disturbing me. When you marry Giha, command the Anamma. I took the children to school. Hey, you took them to school. What about uh, Tobejuku? He has gone to work. Uh -huh. He said he won't be taking them because he won't be passing through their school. Okay. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Oh, he, 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 he have just left. Yes, While I'm preparing his uh, breakfast. Hey, anyway, no problem. It's better you take them to school. Hmm? It is your duty. At least when walking down, little less size, it's good for you. Is it not your duty? You're looking at me. That is the present situation in my house here. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not from their village. That's why my husband and his mother wants to kill me for what I know nothing about. You might just be close to the truth. Close to the truth? How? Yes. You know, 
like the saying goes, Anya keji achoke. That means it is with the eyes that an adult is told when he or she is not needed. I don't understand. Let me not deceive you. If you look deeply, you realize that your husband is much older than you are. And he is the only son of his mother. Apart from the other children from his stepmother, most of them, they have male children. The point I'm trying to make is this. Tobe's mother, like most other women, she's a very competitive woman. She needs a male child from you. So you either give them a male child or... Well, is it my fault? Is it my fault? I'm just a friend. I'm just trying please, to please, advise. Please, please, It's not my fault. Is it not what he deposited in here that I will bring out for him? Eh? I'm just like, a friend. He should just try, try and give me a male child so I can, I can bring it out for him. Huh. But you don't have to sit. You have to shine your eye. If you give them a male child, the case is settled. <laughs> I should look, look at what you're saying. I should give them a male child as if I would go to somewhere and collect it and give it to them. Is it not what he gives to, to me uh, uh, that I will bring out for him? I have told you. Just think about what I'm telling you. Please, you push should just let me be. I'm not God, though. You push should leave me alone. Ha. Hey, if you're my friend, Inko, just go. Just think about it, though. What is it? What are you doing in this room? Stop talking to me like this now. So I no longer have right to visit my husband's room anymore. Is that? It's like you're not hearing me. What do you want? Anyway, I came to ask you something. Ask me something that cannot wait till the next day. Why tonight? You know you hardly have time for me these days. And, and your mother is not happy. Please, me. leave my mother out of your preaching. She has nothing to do between you and I. If there's anything you want to tell me, I am all ears. My husband, I am so worried about a lot of things that have been happening between you and I these days. And you know I love you so much. You love me. <laughs> you love me so. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Are you having the intention of marrying a new wife? <laughs> did, did I say anything funny? Hey, now listen to yourself. Eh? So this is why you came to disturb me tonight. Listen, I have the answers to your question. But not tonight. I'm begging you. Can I get some sleep? And um, as you're leaving, could you please close my door? Thank you. So, I'm not a rejected woman. I okay. <laughs> Hey! 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 Hey!
I see my daughter. Finally, my grandson has landed. Eh? On my last. Eh? He has my yamo. Mutawa woke up, Juka. Eh? She naked away, Yemia. Hey! Come, 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 You will not understand it, my child. He needs a male child badly. I think it's the tradition of this community. I'm the new wife giving birth to a boy. Yes. Am I our brother? No. <laughs> yes, he is your brother. Because he is your father's son and blood. That makes him your brother. Is that why Papa and Grandma have been treating us badly in this house? No, my dear. I just had a little misunderstanding. That's all. Okay. And my angels, you must learn to accept things the way they are. Allow things to work out by its own way. Okay? But Mama... Shh. My daughter in law, this is Mama. Please just don't carry anything that is heavy. Oh? Whenever I want to carry anything, just call this student here. These girls. Oh? These girls. No, Mama, girls. Mama, I can manage. Manage? Can manage. No! Arinu! Arinu! Bianca! You! Where are these children? children? I know their mother will not tell them to stay at home. Eh? And while I leave me here, they're gonna go. Once their mother leaves, all of them will just disappear. I know them. I don't know why you know Senna here. Eh? So let me let me carry it. No, 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 Mama. No, don't, don't bother. I can manage. You can manage. Yes, I can manage. Hey, I can manage. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm walking towards what I want. I'm walking towards what I want. Hey, you see those girls, eh? I will deal with them in this house. Once their mother leaves, everything I just scatter. The only thing that mother knows how to do very well, open tinker, open tinker, open tinker. So why wouldn't her children imitate her? Why? They will. I can't come here, Mama. Mama, me and Gemma. What are you doing? Why are you spreading clothes here? Don't you know that this place is, is meant for my baby? Huh? Hey, how am I supposed to know that you're still washing your baby's napkin? Mm. Huh? Oh. How am I supposed to know? Okay, so I have to shout it for the whole world to know that I'm still washing my baby's clothes. Is it? Please take this nonsense out from here. What, Vico? Take this thing out from here. I can't allow this happen. Are you out of your mind? Huh? We are making it What can you do? It's your camera, girl. Edna, what can you do? Please leave. What can you do, Edna? I will do what you do. Mama, Edna, you're fighting, baby. Hey, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Shut up, you're 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 fighting. Mama, leave me alone. Oh. A baby boy? Yes, so she should respect yeah. herself. Eh? So you don't know no more than I will in Eh? Don't you know that this rope is meant for baby boy's napkin? Oh. Eh? You Mami can I... go and spray your own baby girls on top of that onubu. <laughs> don't you know that? Mama, why are you doing this to Shut me? Shut up, who is your ma? Mama, my God, Mama. Eh? Mama, I'm not God. I'm God. 
Where is your mother? I'm asking you. Come on, carry this your rubbish out of here. Next time you try it, I'll, I'll show you something. Momo, Momo. Let her go. Tell us to do forever. Oh. I, 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 I won't. Don't mind. Spin your finger. Eh? Edna. So you had the mind to beat up my wife, Benedicta. Hey! Edna, you don't want me to see peace in this house. What is your What is your problem? Jealousy. It's just out of jealousy. A woman who gave us a bouncing baby boy, you want to kill her. Idiot. Because you are incapable of doing your own. Nonsense. But but like she said the way about you. What reason will you have? Eh? To even lay hands on a woman that just gave back to my, my only son. My husband, you have to send this woman packing home. You have to send her packing home from, from this household. Yes. Because I know her next plan will be to hammer our son. Oh, I said it earlier than now. I'm going to Push her out. Send her packing. Edna, the next time this ugly situation repeats itself in this house, you won't have a second chance. <laughs> do you hear me? <laughs> I said, do you hear me? <laughs> Are you giving her a second chance? Mama, I am the head of this household. Please, let this piece yourself next time. You see what I'll do. Yes. Or you require. No, this, your thing is not good. <laughs> you push it on that I'm not good. No. <laughs> I'm woman. You queen Sue, just look at her. In a, in a, in a, in a, in a, what a, in 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 a, Yes, we 
where you'll be selling food to customers as your own personal business. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Okay. God bless you, no, God. No, no, no. Care of, care of, care of. Oh, my God. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Um, the other thing I want you to know is that from now on, you and your children will stop staying with us. No, don't, don't worry. I have personally arranged a place for you. Wow. Your kids. Hey! And I'm sure that you will like it if you see it. Oh, God, I'm so grateful. Oh, thank you, Ma. God bless you too for me. Thank you, sir. It's all right. It's all right. Thank More you. money. And before going to my shop, I will show you the new place. Thank you. Hey! Thank you so much. It's all right. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Just bring out that your useless daughter. Let me do to her what she did to my son. Please, I'm sorry. You should know that I didn't send any of them to come fight. Which hospital is your son? Hey, come, let me take you there. Let me take you there. Let me take you there. Please, no, don't, don't be angry again. Oh, you always nagging. Let me get my purse so I can follow you to the hospital. I'm waiting. Oh, well, then, uh, you to keep this place. Come I I know, I know, I know, I know. But I don't tell your mother, say, if I come to one, I could pay. Ah, you know this kind of play now. Hmm? Why do you squeeze your face like, say, waiting? You know me here. Ah, you serious? Why well, guys, give me money now? The place cannot play now. Pay me now. Where it also they do credit business for restaurant business? So now because of this common two hundred and fifty naira they shot for me like this. Why well, guys, why give me the money? I beg. I beg. You must put my my reason. Reason that you are cute. Okay, let's my leave her. I leave him. Leave him. Okay. Now you go pay for her. Yeah, hey, don't worry. I will pay. I will pay. You pay him bill. Yeah, add it to my bill. Okay, say go pay. Yes. Eh. Listen, thank you. Okay, two fifty. Two fifty naira. Why guys, the chop. Okay, thank you. Okay. I see Zogagala's view. Don't change it. You know, get my work on top. Don't you know that customers are always right? Eh? You know, Zogagala's pay money. For a restaurant business, don't they do credit to? You do credit, nobody see your money. But he said he will pay. After all, he's a regular customer. There's Wait. no way he will run away with 250 naira. He will pay, but he didn't give me the money. Hey. Ah, go call. I Hey. I was busy inside. I 
I see you're now shimmering. You're looking better now. Ah, okay. Shiny. <laughs> um, where is Madame? Oh, <laughs> Madame, she has gone on her uh, usual business trip this time Dubai. Really? <laughs> How have you been faring? Eh? I forgot to ask you. Uh, that is why I'm here, to show my little appreciation. Your kind gesture has really yielded a very big result in my family. Irene has entered the university. The sister will soon be through with the secondary school and will soon join her. And um, we have moved from one room to a flat now. Um, yes. Oh. And um, you know what? I didn't borrow any, even a dime from anybody. Wow. It all came from my restaurant business. I see. Uh, yes. <laughs> and that's nice. why I've come with this. It's for you. They don't need to go this far. Besides, the joy and reward we drive from being good in life is seeing the benefits of those gestures in the lives of the beneficiary. Oh, wow, I thank God that you've made it so far in your business. So, yeah. to God alone, <laughs> be all the glory. Yeah. <laughs> um, one must not fail to show appreciation. Yes, to God be the glory. So, Dima Oma, mm -hmm. accept this. It's from the bottom of my heart. Please. All the same. Thank you. Yeah. And my prayer to you is for God to continue blessing you, taking Amen. you and your family to more heights, greater Amen. heights. I pray <laughs> same for you and your family too. So thank you. <laughs> assistant in the restaurant. If not for Mama, me and you will not be here. It's from that restaurant business she used to pay for this house rent. From that business, she used to feed us. From that same restaurant business, she pays our school fees. And you are here watching the movie. Bianca, advise yourself. Talk to yourself. Be a good girl. So I've told you now. I've told you. I've gone to Mama's shop in the morning. I'll go back there in the evening. The movie I'm watching is very, very important. And you, you don't carry this uh, so strike to come here now. This is your attitude. You cannot change your. And why are you always behaving like this now? Now, you just entered the house. You have started preaching. Ha! So what they do, police work? Oh. Bianca, give me that cover. Can you give me your hand? Bring your hand. Why do you always behave like this now? I mean, eh? You don't care, I'm so strong. Come here. Come here, mama. 
Oh, Gaga Lazi. You want to hear that? You're okay. okay. Closes at 3 30 and now it's after five and she's still not here. Oh I don't know for that girl. Eh? I can't just understand her behavior these days. Mama, you're the one spoiling Bianca. You're the one spoiling her. They're very strict on Bianca. She won't be behaving like this. Bianca will come back from school and come back and come straight to the, to the restaurant to help us out here. What do I do? Bianca, you're the one spoiling Bianca. She won't be behaving like this. Bianca will come back from school and come back and come straight to the restaurant to help us out here. What do I do? Should I kill her? Eh? Oh boy. Mama. Come on, come on. Eh? Mama, I'm not saying you should keep Bianca. No. What I'm saying is, as our mother, it's your duty to call us to order. Hmm. Because this Bianca is getting out of hand, though. But the way she's going, eh, Mama, hmm. I don't know what this girl is going to turn out to be or tomorrow. Hmm. All I know is that I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Anytime she's, she comes back, she will surely tell me where she's coming from. Because enough is enough. I can't take that anymore. Ha! Oh, please let me pack this. I want to go home. Let me go and do my comment. Been all this while. And mama is waiting for you to help her in the restaurant. Eh? Yes. Come move to the restaurant. I help mama. I'm coming. I'm talking to my friend. So what? what I'm talking to you. I said, what? Ah. What is it now? Is that is that the way you go? Move to the restaurant. I'm talking to you. I said, Mia, I don't like what you're talking about. What's wrong with you, sir? Every time you just you just pulling me like what's wrong, girl? Are you grown up now? No, no, you're grown up girl now. Get out of here! 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 
Respect yourself. Oh, yeah. Make a I'm eh, eh. If you try it, then he tries you why I want me girl. Or give me it. Mommy let me it. Mommy now for a cup of coffee. You don't get it. You go buy me no such a larola. Buy me no. Mama, I don't know for you. It's my first to sleep by this time. I want to wear my mama for you. That's all. Oh no, that's not okay. Can't wear. Give me my mother my ticket, no. I don't want to wear my ticket, no. I don't want to wear my ticket, no. I have not summoned you here to condemn you, but to let you know some of life lessons you need to learn at this stage of your life. You see, in this life, we all strive to achieve success in all our endeavors. And most importantly, we try to avoid shame or ridicule in the eyes of detractors. Because behind every achievement in life, there is envy and jealousy. If you can recollect through your mind's eyes, you always remember, even as a child, the trauma, the physical and psychological torture your mother suffered in the hands of your grandmother and your late father, who was my stepbrother. I was deeply touched. And that was why, soon after the mourning period of your father, Tobichuku, I decided to help your mother from the fact that she has always been a nice, quiet and simple woman who didn't deserve all that treatment. I was so shocked. Tell me, do you really care about my joy?
Should I bring your food for you? Mama, please, I want to be left alone. Please! I need the food again! Oh! Mama, please, please! I just want to be left alone. See if she will. Mama, why do you worry yourself so much? Irene has a mom's strength. I know her very, very well. She's angry now. She would not want to open the door. She won't want to talk to anyone. Just allow her to, to stay in there. When she's tired, she'll come out. By morning, she should be fine. Let me go and stay in your room. I know she'll be fine. But at least she should come out and eat her dinner now. She has not eaten. Mama, yeah, the food is already I'm tired. You worry yourself too much. Let me go and in my own house. I want to go back to school to meet my few friends that will appreciate my presence. I'll be down here complaining. Irene, where else do you think you'll be more appreciated than your own home? Eh? I know you're angry with what your sister did to you. But you should also remember that you two, you two are from the same parents. Eh? Yeah, so come on, get down and apologize to your sister. Sorry. So, I won't say it again. I won't say it again. I will not get you upset again. Don't go in there. you say it. See? She won't do it again. Darling, how yes, are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, darling, darling, I want you to meet my sister. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. my name is Irene. Good to see you. Oh. Yes, I've heard nice things about you. So, sis, meet my husband to me. Oh, really? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. hmm. And you look good. Thank you. Good to see you. But, uh, see, I would have seen you long before now. But business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold it, hello, yeah. I told you. This matter of a guy looks so old. I know, that's what you want to say. Are yeah. you sure he's ready to settle down? He's old, but I'm cool with it. I'm fine. I love him just the way he is. Oh, not at all, not at all, not at all. Yeah, 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 yes, of course. It will be sorted out. Okay, it will right, be sorted so out, okay? Right now I'm busy. I'm gonna call you back. Okay, please. Huh? I will talk to you in another um, twenty minutes. Right? Okay, that's right. Okay, darling. I had to take that call. It's very important. All right. Bianca, are you really 
you're serious about this matter of a guy? Yes, of course. Marrying him. So what's your own problem, Steph? Eh? Are you the one getting married to him? I'm the one marrying him. I know you have problem with his age, but I'm fine with it. I'm not complaining. I'm just con I'm just concerned about this his busy nature. That's all. Look, How? Um the first time I met him, the impression I got about him is he's more committed to his business than this issue of what you're thinking about. This marriage is not an easy issue. It's a serious matter. I know it's a serious matter. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine with him. I'm not complaining. I've always been with him like that. I know he's business conscious, but I'm cool with it. Uh, mm. It's a No problem. Uh, meanwhile, I want to go and tell Uncle Gabriel and the wife. Any problem? I just want to tell them about my fiance. And that's it. I think you should tell Mama first, not mm. Uncle. That's true, that's true, that's true. You know, I'm even supposed to tell my mom before telling you. Well, I don't know, I just forget about it. Sorry, Bianca. Hmm? Oh, dear, I'm really, really in love with this man. You cannot even concentrate to do the right thing. Yes, I'm in love with him. Hold my right. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> For less, my husband is a businessman. <laughs> I know. I, babe, oh, hold on, hold on. I, I have another call on um, another phone. Let me call you back. Okay, please. Hi. Thank you. Hello, darling. How are you? We're having our honeymoon like right now. You're traveling from here to there. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I have no choice. Just um, I'll, I'll just wait for you. I'll wait, but I just want you to know that I miss you. I'll wait. It's all right. I'm, I'm sure you don't know how I feel right now. You know I love you, right? Who is that? Come in. Sorry to disturb him, man. The man came here and dropped this. First man. 
He said she will understand once she reports. You can go back to your office. Thank you. Tell me, um, did you like the perfume that I sent to you? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's beautiful. Really? I love it. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, um, you ready? Yeah. I'm head over heels in love with you. You've said that before. Now I'm seeing it again and I mean it. Hmm. Is that what you tell every girl, every single day of your life? I prefer not to answer to that. But anyway, let's round up because I have work to do at the office. Concentration. So, am I also disturbing your concentration? <sighs> See, this is very, very important. Mm? Look at it yourself. Take a look at it. Mm? This is worth millions of dollars. I cannot afford to disappoint my white partners. I have to pull through this, please. Stop! Stop it! Ah. What about my needs? What about my needs? What about your, your tender care as a husband? Why are you so heartless? And, 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 hey, 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 excuse me. What is, it, what is this need that you're even talking about? Need? Okay, tell me, what is this need that I have not met in this house? Is it about cars? Is it about money? All of which you have. So tell me, what is this? What need are we talking about? Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's always your business, business, business. What about me, your wife? Huh? Is it fair? What you're doing, is it fair? See, this is a deal I've been working with my foreign partners for a very long time. I can't back out now. It's too late. I can't afford to disappoint them. Let me just finish this, please. Well, it pleases you to deny me my conjugal right. Maybe I should just go upstairs, soak my face with tears, 
and also pack my things and leave your house. Maybe then you will understand that I am a woman. What's the problem? Why, why are you parked here? I don't know. My car just parked me up here now. I've tried all I could to make this car start, but it's not starting. You mean you were just driving and the car suddenly stopped on its own here? Yeah? Yes. It's automatic, right? Yes, it is. Um, get into the car, open the button, let me check it out. It may be electric, but you never know. Stay in the car, okay? Okay. Uh, that, oh, I told you. Oh, you know this electric car stops. Oh, James, thank you very much. And I'm sorry for taking your gym time. Oh, it's for nothing, darling. Come on. <laughs> Yes, ma, yes, ma. Yes, ma. Honey, yeah. welcome. Mm -hmm. Let me help you. Hey! Yes, ma. Come on, come on. Expect to use this. Madam! Madam! Yes? Mama is here. Ha! Oh. Mama. Mama, <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. How was your trip? Well, you came here safe and sound. I thank God for that. <laughs> Let me take you inside. Okay. What of my son? Yeah, it's fine, but he's not around. Yeah, he's yes. not around. Yes.
with your heart. The, the thought about that I'm beholding a person like you, it's awesome. And also when I look inside of you, I see a wonderful heart. You're so sweet. Thank you. It's my pleasure that you are my friend. And on that note, allow me to ask for just one thing. What? my son married twice the this union did not produce any result till it is bad for some years he refused to get another wife he became so preoccupied with himself and his business But those years, I longed for him to get married and give me grandchildren. Bianca, <laughs> imagine a woman in my age. Two of his sisters are reverend sisters. Imagine my trouble. The only hope I have to carry my grandchild is to go die.
<laughs> I read it. It is really a good thing that something has finally brought you to my house. Uncle, <laughs> <laughs> are you saying I don't come to your house? Hmm? I read you. I don't see that. You. You that is committed to your job as if nothing else matters to you. Eh? Yeah. If you are becoming, eh, I'll be the first to bear you witness. And I'll certainly be the second oh. to bear you witness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll surprise you. Uncle, I'm promising you. From today, I'll be coming to your house every day. <laughs> well, we're just making small talks. Your goodness and positivity in life overrides every other mistake. And honestly, my in law would not fail to recognize the peace and love that um, is so much in existence in this family, and I'm so delighted to be here. Yeah, You're welcome, my in law. <laughs> but you should count yourself so lucky for picking Irene as your wife to be. Exactly, so you can't be more than correct on that. <laughs> uh, hey, Irene, that reminds me. How about your mother? Hmm. It has been long as so. Mama has virtually refused to stop. Running her restaurant business. Despite <laughs> the doctor's warning about her health. I'm serious, though. Uncle, you know what Mama told me? What? She said, going to fire gives her joy. So that her cooking is her hobby. So oh, I said to you, Mama. <laughs> but you won't blame her. Hey. But please, just tell her to take care of herself. I don't want anything to happen to her health. And please, send my regards to her. I will, I will. I oh, will take care of Mama very well. All right. Thank you, Nancy. <coughs> My Lord. Yes. The vice knows what the maga and gonna go. That's right, Mama. And uh, you never regret coming here. Amen. You can take it in our town. Amen. Oh, God, you know, Mama. Yes. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. The document will be ready in the next 30 minutes. Yes, 30 minutes. Okay, sir. Right, sir. Wow! See who we have here. Okay. Bianca, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? in a situation of which I don't understand the beginning and the end. I don't understand you. My mother-in-law, she just left this morning. She reminded me how I've been married for three years without a child. She wants a grandchild. She ended up telling me the litany of her family. The most shocking part of it is, she said she wants a grandchild by all means. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Is she that desperate? Very desperate. I felt for her though. I swear, I felt for her when she was crying. You know, I've actually gone to the hospital. I've gone to hospital, but doctors said I'm, I'm fine. All the hospitals I've been to, they said I'm fine. I'm complete as a woman. But I've never got the time like to go to the hospital with Martin. You know, he's always struggling. He's always in the room. But this time around, I think he, when he comes back, I will even have to go to the hospital with him to run a test. Anyway, that clears it all. Hmm. New man. Guess what? You started again. Guess what? What? What is it? Your sister is getting married very soon. You're <laughs> joking. Wow. Are you serious? My God! Are you serious? Seriously? <laughs> I'm so happy for you. At last, my sister is getting married. <laughs> what do you mean by that, at last? 
Oh, come on. You, you know what I mean. Everybody knows you. Two things to do your job. You never have time for any man. Always in the office, working, working, working. So now that you're now, now that you're getting married, everybody's going to be surprised, and that's why I'm surprised. So who is this lucky man? Samson, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Um, is Madame there? Mm, she has gone out, sir. Oh, that's true. Her car is not even there. It's okay. Thank Welcome, you. sir. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. She also told you how the two previous relationships were bedeviled with emptiness. Why did you keep it as a secret away from me? Was it really important for me to have told you all of that? How could you say that? For crying out loud, we are husband and wife. Why would you keep a secret away from your it's own okay. wife? It's okay, darling. It's okay. Take it easy, okay? Let me say I'm sorry for not telling you all of that. I didn't deem it important. I'm sorry. I understand how you feel. Bye-bye. Anyway, uh, how was your sister's uh, wedding? It's fine. I wish, I wish I was there. You wish, you wish. That's what you keep saying. But you barely have time for your own wife. You wish, you wish, you wish. You travel from here to there. From US to, to UK. From UK to South Africa. For crying out loud, I am your wife. Well, you know more than anyone else that my business entails a lot of traveling. I have to travel. Otherwise, where would we be? Your business? What about me? 
What about our personal and private issues? Personal issues? What personal issues are you talking about? Babies, of course. I'm talking about all snaking babies. For crying out loud, I can't continue taking this insult from your family. I usually don't like it when you go talking about this baby, baby thing. I've told you, babies are gifts from God. They will come at the appointed time. That is where you give time to it. Don't let it bug you. I am not bothered. You shouldn't be bothered. Don't let it bug you at all. It will so bug me because that's the only reason your mother was here. It's okay, darling. It's okay. Hmm? You know, I just came in from a very long trip. The best we can do for each other now is just to relax and have fun. Enjoy each other's company. Babies will come. Hmm? Now here. Hmm? Any mother will feel the same way you feel. But it still does not warrant your going to my house to molest my poor wife. I mean, I told you, Mama. Children are from God. They will come at the appointed time. So why all this molestation? Did she say molesting her? Hmm? Well, even if I did, Martin, my son, enough is enough. Your first affair came and you were so The second one took a place. I don't want to get there. Eh? Name goes to where now, Ada. Imagine, imagine the way it's going. Have you ever sat down, my son, Martin, and reasoned? Mama, you see, we can only be talking about reasoning if there was a problem. Because there is no problem anywhere. There is no problem whatsoever. Don't deceive yourself. Mm. Eh? Look at you. You'll be 50 in a few months. Some of your mates are almost grandfathers. You are doing well, my son, Martin. But a childless life is an empty life. A child is the fullness and fulfillment of our existence. Here on earth, a man without a child is just like an empty vessel with holes, which makes it impossible for it to hold water. Think about it. Is it children, my son, to bring fulfillment and fullness, joy, into their family, so that I, your mother, at my old age, will die a happy death? At the time, time. Ever and ever will unfold. At the due time, cause nothing is hidden right from the other sun. At the due time, ever and ever will unfold. At the due time. Hello, baby sis. The Bianca Bianca. Why are you sounding like this? Are you okay? Oh, my baby sister. Okay, you know what? Just wait for me. I'm coming to your house in the next 30 minutes. Let me use my break time and spend the time with you, okay? Okay, darling, I'll be there in the next 30 minutes. Okay, darling. Just be fine, okay? Be strong for me, Daddy. Okay, bye, Bianca. Gradually escalating. Are you sure? 
it's just the child issue or there's something else that I don't know of. Sis, I don't understand. I mean like I've, I've spoken to him. You know, he traveled. And then when he came back, I told him the mother was in the house. And she was saying a lot of things. And then he traveled to see the mother. By the time he was back, his mood changed totally. I, I, I don't know what was going on. Ah, this is serious. This is serious. Have you advised him to go for the test I told you about? I did though. I told him, but he never gave me listening ears, like he didn't want to listen to me. Hmm. I don't know what I have done wrong. I'm, I'm just tired. I think I have to talk to him myself. No. This issue is quite sensitive and I don't think he will ascribe to it. <sighs> okay. Bianca, you know your husband better than I do. I have to rush back to the office. My break is over. Walk oh, holy. You want this your job, and eh? Do you even have time for your husband? Hmm. Home is home, and office is office. Please pass me off, job. <laughs> OK, let me see you. All right, so like, um, what has been going on? Is this the first time I'm traveling? It's not the first time, but you're not going anywhere today. You either kill me today Why? or you're not going anywhere. Why? You're not going anywhere, I've told you. Will you leave my trans out of the I'm not leaving you. You're not going anywhere. What kind of thing is this? You think I don't know all this your travel travel has given an undertone? You what? think I don't know? What undertone are you talking about? Hey, do I look like a fool to you? Huh? Do I look like an idiot to you? I know all these things you're doing, though. You think I don't know the reason you're not disturbed about our childlessness? You think so? You just want to go out there and impregnate any woman and bring her in here when she has delivered and then you can now send me back in. That's what you want to do, but I will not allow that to happen. Me? Another yes. woman? Yes. How? It's not possible. You're not going anywhere, just... Hey, what is all this rubbish this morning? You're not going anywhere, I hey, Look, don't let me get, 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 you do something that you're not like. You're not going anywhere. Leave my child. Leave my child. Leave my child. travel with me and then he started beating me <sighs> Bianca why that's not it though because I just I I, I held his choices that was why he started beating me up Bianca why would you hold your husband's trousers after all yes, see, 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 on see. You. let me tell you I don't trust that man one bit I don't trust him at all all this travel travel he has been doing all this why he thinks I don't have sense oh. Eh? That's what he thinks. I have sense more than him. He doesn't know. So are you saying your husband is having... Yes! He's having an affair outside. Don't worry. I think uh, I have to come over to your house. No! So I can talk. There is no need. Don't even bother yourself coming to my house. Let me tell you something. The other day he came back from one of those his useless travel. And then I told him that the mother was in the house. And I also told him all the things the mother said when she came. Do you know that my husband did not do anything about it? He even traveled to the village. He came back. 
and I expected him to do something and he did not do anything. That guy is hiding something. Why was he even hiding it from me that he was twice married? Hmm? He's a big liar, yes. Okay. Just take it easy with your husband. Try to investigate to be sure first before you take any action. Okay? Alright. I heard you. Unless that when you try me now, I will do more than that. Though. After breakfast is served, I'm actually going out to see my sister in her office. Hey, hold it, hold it right there, hold it. You mean breakfast is served and you're going out this morning? What's the reason for all of this rush this early morning? I've told you, I'm going out to see Irene urgently. Urgently? Hmm. What could be so urgent that I, your husband, do not know about. Or is it about my issues that you discussed with her? Oh yes, she called me. Your sister called me last night while you were sleeping and she told me all of what you told her about me. You see, I listened to her very well. I listened to her because I respect her. And you know why I respect her? She has a great IQ and a fantastic sense of moral judgment. So I'll suggest that uh, you learn something from her. And what is that supposed to mean? It simply means that uh, you are running when nothing is pursuing you. I see. You can say that to the birds. I'm off.
It's coming. Madam. Hey, Veronica. Um, you can go home. As soon as I'm done with what I'm doing, I will lock up. Thank you. Madam. Yes, any problem? No, I, I just feel you're overworking yourself. Every other staff has closed for today. And besides, you've been working since morning. Veronica, I appreciate your concern, okay? Um, if only you run along and leave me to do what I'm doing. Let me use this uh, remaining second to tidy up this project I'm typing. I will appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Bianca, hmm? what on earth do you mean by that? Hmm? Imagine. I, 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 I don't mean to disrespect you, but that's what you're supposed to do as a mother. I mean, you should let me know before coming to my house. Oh, you have to dictate to me. When to come to my son's house, you have to dictate to me. Eh? Okay, that was a long It's not what you think, please. Uh -huh. You should let me know next time. And, and who is this person? This is a silly question. And a silly statement. You don't have to detect for me when to come to my son's house. Do you hear me? No, 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 no. I will take exception to that. You don't have to tell me who this person is. You can't just bring anybody to my house. I will not take it. No, 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 no. You are not going anywhere. Mama. Listen.
I want you to tell me. Your mother came in here with a strange girl, and you expect me to do nothing. You should go out there and ask your mother what she's doing with a strange girl in our home. Now, you Martin, didn't Bianca tell that I'm around? Uh, well, uh, hey, welcome. Welcome. I'm sorry, I'm trying to sort something out with my wife. I'll join you in the sitting room. Sorry, yeah. Bianca. <laughs> Nobody is going to take you to take away from you as my son's bed war. Come on, enjoy it. Enjoy it as much as you like. But you see that girl? She has come to stay because you refuse to give me grandchildren and she's going to give me grandchildren. Well, like I said, Mama, I'll join you in this day. In general, it's I'm coming down. One minute. One minute. 